Derek Jeter slander. It's time to go! I remember one time back in college, you know, I, I'm, I'm a pretty avid baseball guy. Um, first off, I'd like to preface this, I am 100% a Yankees fan, you know, fair enough. But um, if this guy was a Red Sox, I'd literally be saying the same exact thing. Just, you know, like those guys like Manny Ramirez and David Ortiz and Dustin Madroya. I can't take anything away from I Did I like them? Did they piss me off? Did every year in October I wanted to fucking cry? A hundred percent. But I can't take away that they are fantastic players. With that being said, going back to the college story... Bunch of my buddies used to break my balls. And this is the one guy, man. This is it. In sports. I'm a, I'm a guy that... Does Mickey Mantle pay your rent like in the Bronx Tale? No. I'm that guy. And I will tell you the one person that's like, you're dissing my family is if you come after Derek Jeter. He's a biracial angel. <sighs> There's so many things wrong. The, the metrics, something's going on. Cause, cause people are too fucking caught up in this Billy Bean fucking money ball bullshit, and I'm sick of it, bro. Do the stats matter? Yeah, for sure. But when people are sitting there like, well, his fucking exit velo is 120. Stan hit a fucking rocket into a second baseman's fucking glove a couple years ago. Highest exit velo. I'm not saying it doesn't matter, but politely fuck off. You know. So the classic thing now is defensive runs earned. Oh, he was the worst. Are, are we going by just if you're a bad defensive player or a bad baseball player? Are we doing that now? Because there's a lot of people I could think of that were fucking lifetime DHs because they were complete liabilities in the field, right? The guy was playing shortstop. He made a couple great plays. I don't know if you remember. Look, was the guy Ozzy? I'm not saying he was. But when you hit near 3,500 3, hits in a career, you get a little bit more leeway in my eyes. When you win five rings, and I'm not saying it's only him, but when you win five rings and you're Mr. November, I don't know, you might get a little bit of a fucking pass. It's just, you know, I wrote all this down. I'm up at six in the morning, pissed. Because I watched, is Derek Jeter an overrated baseball player? I, 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 I don't even know what to say right now. Give me a sec. All right, first thing I wrote, you know, because I'm combating baseball doesn't exist made a decent video. I thought he was going to rag Jeter way more than he did. He was kind of... If you're being objective, okay, fair enough, right? So he never won an MVP. First off, you look at his 06 season. Dustin, uh, Justin Morneau beats him. Kind of gets hosed, right? You could argue he loses it, but... Mm, I don't know. So, all right, fine, fair enough, whatever. He doesn't win an MVP. Voted most overrated player by the players, like Correa. I was reading this fucking article just now. Stick to garbage, bro. It's like, oh, well, you know, he got a big contract, but your eyes could lie to you. It's like, all right, dude, chill the fuck out. You fucking cheated. Fuck off. Um, what else? The worst one that pisses me off so much is he wasn't even the best shortstop on his team, bro. It's like, okay, fair enough, fine. All right, so that's like, hey, Lou Gehrig, like, you're not the best hitter on your own fucking team, dude. You're not even the best hitter. You have this guy named Babe fucking Ruth. A-Rod hit 696 home runs. By the way, he was pretty good, too. I mean, he cheated, right? We gotta be objective. I'm a Yankees fan. He fucking cheated twice, right? But yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, the guy was a freak athlete, too. I mean, that's a great fucking... That's a great uh, tragedy to have on your team. Oh, no, we have two pretty good shortstops. Um, that one annoys the shit out of me, dude. Because that doesn't even make sense, bro. That, like, like, there's so many examples I could give you. It's like, well, Clay Thompson must not be that good because he's not even the best shooter on his fucking team. I'm pissed, bro. This is six in the morning, bro. You want to wake me up? This is how you wake me up, bro. Fucking alarm. Fuck any metal music. This right here, dude, this will get me going. And then moreover, right? So you're like, oh, yeah. The guy played in the steroid era. In the steroid era, when everyone was hitting fucking 40 home runs, dude. You put me out there, I have a shot. If you fucking juice me with Trembolone, Jesus Christ. The guy's putting up all these stats against, and it's not even only the hitters, by the way. Like, there were pitchers also doing juice. And the guy's still putting up 3,500 on your fucking head, bro. Was he the biggest home run hitter? No. But, and I know, once again, everyone's like, well, you know, hitting for contact isn't that good. I mean, I'm sorry. Bro, but the fucking head of statistics, like these fucking assholes, I'm not saying 
none of what you're saying is credible, but what I am saying is it's not all about that. It's not all about that. You still have to play the game, is my point. Billy Bean lost in the playoffs. That's all I'm saying. He didn't win. We, we pretend like, oh, well, he won. He didn't win. And then the Red Sox, yeah, did they use some of his strategy? Fair enough. But they, they also had a fucking crazy budget. It's still the Red Sox. So let's chill out here. And then he talks about, baseball doesn't do this, talks about getting rid of Chad Curtis. But yeah, I mean... Look, when you're head honcho on a team, like LeBron, for example, in, in basketball, if LeBron wanted to get rid of you, you're gone. Like, that's just how it goes. I'm sorry, that's life. Is it right or wrong? I mean, Chad Curtis ended up being a piece of shit. Do your research. I'm not going to talk about it on here. Right? I, I don't even know how that's even, like, what are we talking about there? And then and then they do talk about in 2010 with uh, when he faked getting hit by a pitch in the playoffs. If you ain't cheating, you ain't winning. Right? I mean, at least the guy didn't fucking juice. If, that, if that's the worst case of him cheating, once again, the ass fucking uh, trash boy over there, fucking Correa. You know? I mean, come on, man. It, it's been way worse in baseball. We're going to get on him for that? Like, chill out, bro. And then, and then you know, half of the, half of the, half of that, and once again, I'm not ragging on this guy. Baseball doesn't exist. He makes good stuff. But half of the time, he's talking about, like, him being a Marlins uh, GM. It's like, or, like, in the front office. It's like... Are we talking about he's an overrated player? Or are we talking about, like, I mean, yeah, I don't think he's fucking Brian Cashman, you know? I mean, and Brian Cashman's all overrated, too, but that's a whole other thing. We gotta be objective here. We're objective here. I don't know. Look, my point is, in essence, the guy had five rings, right? The gold glove thing, you want to get rid of them, fine. But then give him the MVP, because, once again, go back, look at those stats in 06. I'm telling you, I'll throw them up. It is, it's gotta stop. It's gotta stop. It has to stop here. Calling Derek Jeter overrated is like saying Domino's is better than Joe and Pat's. That's all I have to say. That's all. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace.